Hey guys, Beast from Beast Toys here coming at you this evening. Got an opening Phoenix Shan, number one book of Boba Fett. Although, if you ask me, we could have went Mandalorian on this one. Um, at any rate, here she is. This is Wave, Galaxy Wave 31, I believe, where we're at. Um, just getting started on this wave. Got all eight to my right, plus a couple extra other ones I'm going to open, older ones. Um, as you can tell, pretty cool. Uh, it says, an assassin and elite mercenary who has worked for all the top syndicates. Clever, capable, and cunning. She is a formidable opponent. And once again, if you look close, number one in the Book of Boba Fett. And once again, I'll reiterate my point. We could have been Mandalorian with this one. And let Boba Fett be first in his own line. But whatever. I'm not Hasbro, but uh, if I was, well, that's what I would have done. So, let's check her out, though. Comes with a removable helmet. Comes with a sniper rifle. As you can see, she is a little built. Um, Built a little, I should say, reward that. Built a little bit better than most female characters. That look. What I always worry about with female characters is the thickness of their arms. The legs never that big of a deal. Hers, of course, bend just fine. And I like the way the ankles are put in there. They're they're good. They bend just fine. No issues there. We got a, a hard plastic goods cape, or uh, I guess one vest, and uh, they are attached by, mind you, not detachable. Um, as I was saying, arms are usually small, but hers are okay. Um, I was just looking at that because the Princess Leia Yavin, hers looks really, really small. And so you can probably set this up where, I don't know if I can get this in her hand very good. It's not, that's the one thing looking at it, really difficult because of the shoulder strap and the hole in the, around the that part of the gun. So we're gonna, gonna see. Oh, and then you have your plastic, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. I would call it soft goods helmet. I don't know. Of course, if you recall, I do believe that she appeared on the last season of Clone Wars. Has her ponytail there, you can see. Um, I like the helmet on look. Not to, not to say anything bad about her. She's a decent looking young lady herself, but uh, I'm a big fan of helmets and uh, face coverings look pretty cool. And no, I'm not really a big mask. No, I'm not talking about mask, uh, surgical mask and that kind of stuff. I'm talking about helmets, hoods, that sort of thing, face guards. Of course, Cobra Commander was always one of my favorite all-time characters of anything, so. And he is completely masked. That's why I like Jango and Boba Fett a lot, too. I like the helmets. Uh, adds a lot of flair to the costumes, I think, so. That's my opinion. Now, as I talk, I'm going to mess with trying to get this into her hands. See if we can make that work. Because otherwise, here she is. You just get a good look at her. So, if she's one you want to take out of the box, she is very cool looking. If you like Fennec. Of course, I didn't notice until just now. She's got a couple of straps of the color of her helmet and part of her outfit. It's this orangish tan colored mix. Um, clay, clay color, I guess it looks more like, kind of like a clay color. Um, so yeah, this this the toughest part is if you want to put her sniper rifle in her hand or hands, which one? 
and how are we gonna do that? Her fingers are curled as sewn pretty tight. Now, I could get it in this little small part, but you're really not putting her hand on the trigger when you do that, so. But if you look, I just made it work like that. And now she appears to have her sniper rifle, although in all reality, she's not holding it by the trigger in the hand. But now that I'm looking at it, it does look pretty cool that way. So, and you can always change it, take it out, put it over her shoulder, give her that look. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna try to be short and sweet. I've got eight, nine more to go. Um, seven from this wave, and I have a shore trooper and a shore trooper captain that I recently purchased. I don't believe I did an opening at least of the shore trooper captain. Um, the shore trooper, I think I did an archive version. This is the actual regular boxed version, so we'll see. Anyway, guys, there you go. Boba Fett book of number or book of Boba Fett number one, Fennec Shand. And once again, I will say could have been a Mandalorian figure, but uh, very cool. Glad we got this wave. Um, starting to uh, actually got these from Pulse. I had got I have a fresh case that I did crack open um, for my. Those will be my non openers um, that I got from Entertainment Earth about two or three weeks ago, and then last Friday week from today, these popped up in stock, and I got the whole case ordered plus a couple extra got me an extra one of these and an extra mayfield somewhere under there as well so um i tried body open one jetta trooper and a uh, here he is and i'll do one on him but uh, let me tell you this backpack was not fun to get on i did not like it it was not what i thought but uh here's your jetta trooper quick early look open one and uh snuck a couple more ordered in my son's name um of course non-member non-exclusive through pulse but uh, at any rate paying seven dollars for shipping more so um and then but i've got a few extra on entertainment earth i'm going to cancel i think so not to overdo it all right guys there she is Phoenix shan quick little inbox and review as always guys hit that like and subscribe button you want to watch more of my videos and unboxings and reviews and as always Thanks for watching. I'm Bees from Bees Toys. We'll see you.